this is a Strat Custom. Uh, I set out, I decided I wanted to build a base using components that I, I wanted, uh, not components that come stock on, on other guitars. So I decided, I love this color. This is called Satin Ice Blue. So what I ended up doing was I, I bought the body. It did not have any of the components on it. Uh, it was just a body. No bridge, no electronics, no pick guard, nothing. Just the body. I think I've said that three times. So I, so I bought the body and I got it from a company called the Stratosphere. They uh, part out guitars. They have many necks, uh, bodies, and, and all kinds of other stuff. So it's a really good resource if that's something you're interested in doing. Uh, it's a, Again, it's American Elite. And then the neck I bought is a Fender American 70s. It's, it's kind of a U-shape. It's got a U-shape back here. I know a lot of players like the fast modern C, which I like too. But one of the things I absolutely love about this neck, because it's the same neck that's on my 77 jazz bass, are the perloid blocks. Uh, I don't know if you can see those. Uh, on the fret markers and I love that look and overall the look I was going for was a very a very neutral uh, color scheme so I got the blue and white and then chrome uh, mostly the maple neck but I, I wanted I didn't want a bunch of different colors I wanted to try to keep it limited so uh, I love the perloid inlays uh, the block inlays the tuners came with the neck. I got uh, the neck and the tuners. They're all package deal from uh, the company, the Stratosphere also. So I got all of that. Uh, the pickups, they're made handmade, hand wound by Lindy Fralin, uh, fralinpickups.com. They're called Split Jazz, and they really have a very awesome punch and a good high mid, and that's the sound I really love. So uh, it, was, it was an easy decision. Uh, all of the electronics, in fact, I got from Lindy Fralin. Uh, the pots, uh, their 250K pots, and the jack uh, came from Lindy Fralin. And then I had to solder it all together, which was probably the hardest part. Um, the, the knobs here, the white knobs, are custom because you can't get white jazz bass knobs. They, for some reason, they don't make them. They make the, the aged white, which uh, are kind of a yellowish. Um, but so I got the white knobs made. And then, the, believe it or not, the pick guard was very difficult to find. I had to actually had to have it custom made as well. Because the American Elite bodies uh, are a little different. The horn here is actually a little shorter than the horn on a standard jazz bass. And it's a, it's a nine hole pick guard where most of the jazz bass pick guards are 10 or 11 holes. So uh, I had to have that custom cut for me. Again, I wanted that color scheme, just the whites. I literally just finished putting the pick guard on about an hour ago. Everything else has been here for about a week and been put together. Uh, intonation set, uh, an action, all of that has been, been done pretty good. I'll show you this. The original uh, American Elites, they have the string through body here, uh, and, and they use uh, active electronics. I didn't want to go with any of that. This Goto bridge, the strings come through the back here, not underneath the body. So, and, and it's high mass, so that means good sustain. And then I don't use active pickups. I, I just think they're a waste. Uh, I keep changing the battery. They don't really sound that much better. Um, so, and I, I just love these Lindy Fralins. So you see the rest of my guitars here. Uh, green, black, sunburst, black, black, red, orange. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of all of these and building a Strat in the same color, the satin ice blue, a Tele in the satin ice blue. Gibson's version of the satin ice blue is called Pelham Blue. So how weird would that be to have all your guitars the same color? I don't know. I might find out. I might not. So that is the Strat Custom Jazz Bass Guitar. And I can't wait to play it live. Um, I don't know when my next bass gig is, but... Mm -hmm.